All right, good afternoon or evening, depending on where you're located and welcome. We are very excited to have you here at StriveScan's College Launchpad tonight. We have some fantastic schools here with us today um, that are excited to share more about their school and their arts program specifically. So each is going to have six minutes to share more with you about their institution, but they will be sticking around until the end to answer your questions um, throughout, as well as participate in some panel discussion. Um, so just to introduce myself, my name is Laura. I'm going to be your facilitator this evening. So just a couple of quick housekeeping items for you to be aware of. So you may have already noticed this, but your camera and microphone are off, so the panelists cannot see or hear you. However, we would like to encourage you use that Q&A button on your screen to type your questions at any time. This is just one of many different sessions happening, so just be sure to check out the schedule. This session is being recorded and will be available at strivescan.com forward slash launch, which will also have all the other sessions as well as ones that we're hosting in May as well. So I would encourage you to check that out. Okay, so with that being said, I would like to go ahead and turn it over to our first school. So with that, I am going to go ahead and stop sharing my screen here. Perfect, there we go. And I will turn it over to Keene University. Take it away. Great, thank you. Okay. Share my screen here. Okay, welcome. Uh, my name is Carrie. I'm one of the admissions counselors here at Kane University. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we are located in Union, New Jersey. Um, and so that's our main campus. Uh, we do also have two satellite campuses, Kane Skylands and Kane Ocean. And then we have a fully English speaking campus in China, which is pretty cool. Um, so this uh, is a really great slide. It showcases a lot of our brand new buildings that we have and all the different majors that we offer. Um, I know a lot of you are focused on the arts, so we will get into that in just a minute. Um, but just like a broad overview, our student to faculty ratio is around 25 to 1. Uh, we are recognized for social mobility and our students graduate with 32% less debt than the national average. Here, if you just wanted to take a minute, if you do have your phones out, um, we do have some digital brochures. Uh, a lot of you may be interested in the College of Liberal Arts if you wanted to scan that one, but we do have a variety of other colleges that you could be interested in, College of Ed, Business, our Architecture and Design, our Sciences as well. So to get a little bit more into our art programs, uh, we do have a lot of great majors within the music department. Uh, we have our music majors with the Bachelors of Music, um, and then we also have different music ensembles that you could get, um, you know, be a part of as well here at Kane. And then we also offer music, music education. Within the fine arts program, uh, we have a BA in fine arts and then we have a BFA in studio arts. Um, over on the side there is actual artwork that our students have done before and different concentrations available for you um, as well. Within the theater programs, uh, we have a BA in theater, and we also have a BFA in theater performance and theater design and technology. Um, and then over to the side there is different performances that our students have actually put on in the past. Uh, you also get hands-on experience working with our own theater company, uh, Premier Stages. So a little bit more about our uh, campus life here at Kane. We have over 170 different clubs and organizations, 33 sororities and fraternities, and 14 Division III athletics. So there's always so much going on at Kane. You will never be bored. Uh, living on campus, uh, this shows our newest residence hall uh, that we do have on campus here. We have 24-hour computer labs, on-site laundry services, screening rooms, community kitchens, and tutoring centers. Uh, campus dining. You're also never going to go hungry at Kane. We have so many different dining options. Um, this is just to name a few. We have Smash Burger, Jersey Mike's, Auntie Anne's, a new sushi place, Panera Bread, Chipotle, Cold Stone. So many different dining options at Kane. You are never going to go hungry or be bored of the food that we have here to offer. Um, so how do you apply to Kane University? Uh, really easy, right on our website, uh, kane.edu, or you could also use the Common App. We are SAT and ACT optional. Uh, for my students who are interested within the arts fields, um, it is important that you either uh, do an audition if you're interested in theater or that you submit a portfolio if you're more interested in the arts, studio arts, and things like that. Um, take down that fee waiver code, KIST2022. That's going to waive your fee waiver of $75 to apply to Kane for free. 
merit-based scholarships. Um, you're automatically considered for them right when you apply to Kane. And we also offer out-of-state scholarships for any of our out-of-state students on the call today, not from New Jersey. We offer a $4,000 annual scholarship um, if you are from out-of-state and you decide to live on campus. Our merit-based scholarships range anywhere from $1,000 to full in-state tuition. And right here is just a breakdown of our in-state, out-of-state, room and board, and meal plan. We haven't uh, rose our tuition and fees in the past uh, two years, so we're trying to keep our costs down as much as possible for students to attend Kane and come out with little to no debt. And then um, I just encourage you to connect with us. Here's different links on how to apply to Kane, accepted students. If you want to come visit us, we have in-person campus tours, virtual campus tours. Um, and then for any of our accepted students, uh, we do have you know, scholarship brunches and accepted student stays that you could come out to. And we'll have another open house again in the fall. Uh, so thank you so much for uh, listening to me today. I hope you all have a great night. And I'll put my information um, in the chat for you. Perfect. Thank you, Carrie. All right. So just wanted to reiterate, if you do have any questions, please feel free to use that Q&A. You do not need to hold your questions until the end. We are happy to answer those as we go. So with that, I will turn it to our next school, which is Ryder University. Thanks so much. Let's get my screen sharing going and get our evening started. Perfect. Awesome. Well, thank you all so much for joining us this evening. Uh, my name is Susan Mikowski. I am the uh, Director of Undergraduate and Transfer Admission at Ryder University. Um, and tonight we're going to give you a little bit of information about the university, but then again, our particular um, focus in the arts. So Ryder is a small, private, liberal arts school in central New Jersey. From um, the map you can see, we are right in the center of it all. So we are 15 minutes from downtown Princeton. 15 minutes from the state capital of New Jersey. We're about an hour outside of New York City and we're 45 minutes from Philadelphia. Um, so it's a great suburban campus location. Um, everything is right on campus for you. So as you um, pull onto campus, you're able to navigate everything quite easily. It's all based around a circle in a nice pretty location of the state. We do have about 3,600 undergraduate students. I like to say we're a name and a face kind of place. Um, so you're going to be a name, you're going to be a face, people will know you. Uh, even before you enroll at the institution, we, we do our best to get to know you. So average class size is about 17 and the student to teacher ratio is 11 to one. We are for a small community size school, rather diverse. Um, so you'll see geographically, we're coming from about 36 states, 53 countries, and two U.S. territories. 44% of our students are students of color, and one in four of our students is a first-generation college student. So you're going to be in class um, and in the dining hall and residence halls with anybody and everybody from all different backgrounds and all different walks of life, um, which is really a very nice opportunity. We also are a school that guarantees housing all four years. So you can live on campus with no problem all four years. You may also bring a car to campus all four years. So if that makes or breaks a decision, know that that's an option as a freshman. And because of our location, we are easily accessible to um, both New York and Philly with a, three major train stations, 15 minutes of campus. We have New Jersey Transit bus that runs right out front of campus. And we also have a shuttle service that'll take you down into Princeton out onto Route 1, um, where the mall, the movie theater, the chain restaurants, all of that are, and back to campus. Um, so a lot of ways to get in and around the area. Because our students in the arts tend to explore more than just the Lawrenceville, Princeton area. Now campus is made up of 70 majors of study in the colleges that you're going to see there from anything from business to education to our arts and our liberal arts and sciences. But because this evening is focused on the arts, we're going to focus on just those programs of study in our School of Media and Performing Arts. Um, so Ryder has a School of uh, Performing Arts as well as the Westminster Choir College. Um, the Westminster Choir College is a choral school of music and the only school of its kind in the country. Um, so it is not instrumental. The focus of the instruments at the Westminster Choir College are piano, organ, and voice. Um, all of the programs of study under Westminster Choir College do require an audition uh, to be admitted to the institution, and several of them also are going to require an interview. 
In the School of Media and Performing Arts, we have things like our two BFA programs in acting and musical theater, which are highly competitive and do require a pre-screen in order to be invited to an audition. Um, all of our auditions are either hosted on campus or through the unified audition programs in Chicago, LA, and um, New York City. So those are the ones that we do participate in. And then we have unique features in the, perform in the media and performing arts. Things like our dance science major or our arts and entertainment industries management, which is kind of the arts and business combined. Um, we also have a very strong technical theater major. So if you wanted to be behind the scenes and doing all of the work in the costuming and the lights and the sets, that's a full major that you can um, pursue. Does require a portfolio and an interview. Um, and then our, our music studies or our music production program, our game and interactive media, film and TV. So a lot happening in the arts um, that you can major in. Again, the majority of the programs are going to require an audition. And for the BFAs, they are going to require that pre-screen piece. Our students are very, very active in the arts, whether that's their major or whether they um, just have a passion for it and they're looking to major in something else, perhaps, uh, because we do six major productions a year. Three are always musicals. The spring musical right now is, the, is Cabaret. Um, so they're very excited to be putting that on shortly. With the Westminster Choir College, we have seven choirs that um, perform and uh, tour. So there's a lot happening there, as well as a world-renowned bell choir. So if you've ever wanted to ring the bells, um, you can be participant in the bell choir that we, uh, that we have. Um, and many of the uh, choirs for Westminster Choir College have gone on to win Grammy Awards, which is very exciting. But there are 100 plus student productions that are happening on campus. Um, some are solely student run through any of the uh, organizations and clubs that we offer. Uh, we also have acapella groups and pep band and um, orchestra, you name it. So the arts are a very big piece to the institution um, at Ryder. We also have two full theaters and a black box theater and several dance studios on campus. And we work with the Princeton Ballet Repertory Company as well for some of our upper level dance um, coursework. And then if you've ever dreamed of going to LA and getting involved in um, film and TV in that aspect, uh, we do a full semester abroad in LA. So not necessarily abroad outside of the country, but abroad on the West Coast. Um, and that's done in students senior year. All of our students can study abroad um, outside of the United States if they'd like to, and many of our students in the arts will take sabbaticals to join touring companies um, that happen to be things like they were recently on a touring company of uh, rent and ragtime and things of that nature, or the Disney cruises, and then they'll come back and finish their degree at the institution. Some of our um, more exciting alumni outcomes that have happened recently and pre-pandemic, if you went to see Jersey Boys, um, you may have seen one of Ryder alumni there. Some of the dates for application, just so that you're aware, the two BFA programs have a single application deadline of November 15th. The other application deadlines that are listed are for any of the other majors of study. And we do hope you'll visit to learn more about us as well as um, explore the arts even further. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. Okay, moving us along. Next up, we have Ramapo College of New Jersey. Hi, my name is Kelly Javran. I am one of the admissions counselors at Ramapo College. Thank you so much for joining us all tonight. Um, so really first getting started. Um, so Ramapo is a very suburban campus. A lot of nature, a lot of trees, a lot of greenery around campus. We're ranked as one of the Arbor Day Foundation Colleges, and we're located in northern New Jersey up in Mawa. We have about 6,000 students all together. We are the smallest four-year public college in New Jersey. Um, faculty that teach and mentor, we have a 16 to 1 student to faculty ratio. There's also no lecture hall courses anywhere on campus. Your average class size will be about 21. Largest class you will ever have is also going to be 35. And then we are also a test optional institution for all of our undergraduate majors and also all of our four plus one options as well. 
And then so talking about our majors and our School of Contemporary Arts. So over on the right, all of our majors, so they really get broken down to kind of the four big ones. So communication arts, music, theater, and visual arts. So in our communication arts, there's digital filmmaking, digital journalism, and writing global communication media, visual communication design, our contemporary arts, which is also our contract major. So that is really, I normally describe for students kind of a choose your own adventure. You will work one-on-one -on -one with a faculty member to be able to create your entire curriculum. So if you have a dream job and none of these are 100% exactly what is going to get you to that dream job, you'll work with a faculty member to be able to figure out what courses to be able to make your own major. In our music, we have music education, music industry, music performance, music production, as well as music studies. In our theater programs, there's acting, design, technical theater, directing, and stage management, as well as theater studies. And then lastly, our visual arts. So in that, our concentrations in art history, drawing and painting, drawing and painting with an art therapy concentration, electronic art and animation, photography, sculpture, and then sculpture with an art therapy concentration. And then over on our left has our first graduate program in our School of Contemporary Arts, which is a Master of Fine Arts and Creative Music Technology. For all of our music programs, there is an option to be able to add an extra year so you can do your bachelor's and your master's all together as well. So for all of our students in our contemporary arts program. So one, there are internships available for all of our majors, but also all students are required to do at least one internship as well before graduation. There's about 10,000 internship opportunities alone for students, um, and then about 1,000 in New York City. Um, and then also opportunities to do international internships, which kind of leads us to now talking a little bit about student involvement. Um, so intern study abroad. So we go to about 500 different programs globally. Um, we go to about 60 different countries and every continent as well. They'll range anywhere from one week program to a year program. Um, most popular time students will typically go is normally in the summer months, which is typically about a five week program. And then there's internships in about 45 of those countries as well. For athletics, we have 18 Division three sports teams, as well as competitive club sports and intramural sport leagues. And then for getting involved, so we have about 150 different student clubs organizations. Um, so also Greek life, community service, leadership programs as well. And then also for living on campus. So these are our three first year residence halls, Pine Hall, Mackin Hall, and Bishop Hall. So there is free laundry, heat, and AC in all of our residence halls. All of our suites have semi-private bathrooms, so there's no communal bathrooms on campus. And then you're allowed to have your car on campus and housing is guaranteed all four years as well. We're ranked number one best college dorms in New Jersey. Um, and then nationally, we're ranked in the top 2% according to niche.com, so something we're pretty prideful of. Um, and then for admissions requirements. So first, obviously, when you need your application, we are either on the RAMP application, the coalition app, or the common app. About 88% of our students will use the common app, so it's hands down the most popular. And then also your high school transcript. So our average GPA is about a 3.4. We require at least one letter of recommendation, but always recommend students submit at least two. So we do from a teacher, counselor, coach, supervisor of your job, whoever can write you the best letter of recommendation. Possible additional things you have to submit if you're taking any AP exams, when you need your score reports. If you're taking any dual enrollment classes, so you're getting credit from a high school or university, we'll need those. If you're interested in applying into our honors program, there is an additional essay that students will complete as well. And then over on the bottom left, so you can see our application deadline. So we have early decision, which is November 1st, early action, December 15th, which is also our priority deadline for students interested in nursing, biology, and scholarship consideration. And then lastly, our regular decision, our final deadline is also going to be February 1st. Um, otherwise, feel free to connect with us, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We do in-person campus tours Monday through Friday. And then we also will have our spring open house on May 1st. We will also have an open house in September as well as October. And then down the bottom is our interactive information page for our prospective students. Otherwise, this is all of my information and contact information and then links to everything. And then otherwise, again, thank you so much for joining us today and then have a wonderful rest of your night. Wonderful, thank you, Kelly. Okay, so next up we have Binghamton University. I'm so excited to speak with all of you. I know um, the college search process can be scary initially when you're first starting it out. 
Um, but we hopefully help have information that's going to really help all of you. Um, I'm pulling up my screen here to share with all of you. And I know um, you're excited about learning more about what Binghamton University has to offer. But let me pull this up. So uh, Binghamton, I think we're part of the State University of New York. Um, I certainly like to think as a Binghamton alum, I am really proud of um, what Binghamton University has to offer for students. It really does have a very unique feel as a campus. Um, I know here you're, you're getting kind of our night shot, um, but it, it's a campus where students that really strive for their academics are able to really excel and find the opportunities. Um, we are a strong campus. We have um, some of the best and brightest minds coming to join us. And we've been recognized for that. And I think it's more important, not about the rankings, but about why they're saying this about Binghamton. And I think if you look at our retention and our graduation rates, you're gonna see Binghamton really does stand out as a campus. Um, just to give you kind of a, a summary of who comes to Binghamton and what the application process in terms of the, the average student coming in has, we need to attract a really bright student. And I know many of you have challenged yourself. You worked really hard in high school. And there's so many students that are looking to come to Binghamton and, and to continue that tradition of working hard and getting um, the opportunities that they're looking for. And I know that um, when we look at the applications, we are holistic in our review and we're looking for the best and the brightest. We do have some special consideration for our students that have art talent. So in theater and music and in speech and debate, as well as in um, athletic talent abilities, we are um, accepting portfolios or videos to represent your um, experiences. Um, and to get additional consideration for admissions. Um, this can only enhance a student's experience. Um, so it allows us to really look at that talent and dive deep into what you bring to the campus because the arts are very valuable to Binghamton. We wanna have those students have those opportunities and we feel that you sharing that with the community on campus, it really enriches all of us. As far as the academics, we have six different schools and it's not uncommon. I know many of you may have multiple areas that you're thinking of that you want to pursue and you wanna have choices. It's not uncommon at Binghamton where students will do double majors um, or majors and minors. In the Harper College of Arts and Sciences, you could be a, a theater major and also take a mathematics or biology, um, or you could be a student in our computer science taking music or theater. Um, there's cross-disciplinary studies at Binghamton. It's one of the things that really helps to make us very unique and provide students with that kind of opportunity where they can challenge themselves and um, really facilitate in that, that growth as a, as a student so that you're really able to come out prepared for the skill set that you want to have. New in our Harper College of Arts and Sciences is a digital data studies minor, um, which allows students to get programming experiences and to have the analytical skills that they need for the, the workforce of tomorrow. And it's really something that we strive to help and provide students with those kind of opportunities. We have some other unique programs. We are um, one of the unique programs is the first year research immersion program, where when you're coming in as a first year student, you're able to choose from different streams and actually get able to conduct your own research. We have had students that as a result of this have been published and able to present their findings at national symposiums. So we're really proud of the Binghamton students that have participated in this. We're really trying to look and um, offer the best resources for everyone. We also have this research opportunity from the source project in humanities and social sciences. Um, one of my favorite projects that a student participated in in the source project was actually looking at art. Um, and they looked specifically at the art of fracking, I'm sorry, the art of fracking in the Northeast. Um, and they actually did a project in a research symposium um, on this subject. And it was amazing when they pre presented that to the campus. It was really um, life impacting, I think, for the student and then also for the campus as well. We know that many of our students come in, they've already challenged themselves. We want to enrich their experience at Binghamton. So we do provide a number of different honors opportunities and summer artist fellowship programs. Um, within these, we've had students that have worked on novels, documentaries, brain research, and it really expands the globe in terms of the opportunities that you can pursue. Um, so we do have students that apply for those. You do have to um, submit an application and, and really be selected to do that. But students have some pretty amazing outcomes as a result of that. I'd like to kind of think the culmination of our academics and bringing the best and brightest minds together on campus as students. Um, we have some big impact on your lives and in the future. Being a um, strong research institution, we allow all of our undergraduate students to have an opportunity really to benefit from that research experience, not only just in the classroom, but there are opportunities where students can conduct their own research. 
We have extensive opportunities for internships. We have over 2,000 companies that are coming to recruit Binghamton students. And we really want to give you that skill set so that you're prepared for the workforce of tomorrow and you have the critical skills that they want and they, that you need to have. We have service learning, which I think is really critical. And it's something that students gain experiences. It's how you get into and um, decide if this is the right career for yourself. It also is a way that you can have experiences so that you can land those jobs and those opportunities. I know many of you may be thinking about study abroad programs. We have over a thousand programs that you can choose from. So you can have a lot of different choices and opportunities. Um, and we wanna make sure that you have access to those. Um, again, going pretty much anywhere that you may want to go. We also have really strong outcomes and uh, Binghamton students are very much connected, whether it be going on to graduate programs or going out into the workforce, we're there to kind of help and connect students so that they're able to meet their dreams and their goals as they come to Binghamton. Um, student life at Binghamton is, at nothing, is really extraordinary in terms of the opportunities. There's over 450 different clubs, really robust offerings. We have uh, huge opportunities in, as far as the choices in housing and dining. And then um, we are known for our sustainability research at Binghamton University as well. Um, I love the, the campus aspects and the opportunities that you have. Um, and I think I'm going to end there and um, just uh, we'll open it up now to the questions um, in the Q&A. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, and great plug for that Q&A. So please feel free to use that as your questions come up. All right, and with that, I will turn it over to Pace University is going to be up next. Hi, everybody. My name is Lexi Leach. I am here from Pace University. Um, I don't think I'm allowed to share my screen, it looks like. Hmm. Let's see. Yep, you should see it as an option. Sometimes you have to click that more button if for whatever reason it's not displaying. So this three dots at the bottom. Okay, it says that it's blocked when I click on it. Um, let me see if I can just allow this. Sorry about that, everybody. It's Okay, it does show that it's blocked temporarily. So um, I can just talk to you guys for a minute about Pace University and kind of talk through our programs and opportunities here. Um, so again, my name is Lexi Leach from Pace University in Manhattan. We are in the financial district. So we are downtown across from City Hall in Manhattan, about five minutes from Wall Street. Um, so in a really fantastic area of the city um, for a lot of really awesome opportunities. We're also at the foot of the Brooklyn Bridge just to kind of give you an idea. So we also have a campus about 45 minutes north of us in Westchester County. So um, all of our performing arts programs are located on that New York City campus. So if you're just looking at performing arts, then you would most likely be studying there. But we do have that Westchester campus as well that has a shuttle that runs back and forth between the two campuses if you would like to take classes on both. Um, we're a private liberal arts university. So we have about 6,000 undergraduate students on that New York City campus, about 3,000 up in Westchester. Um, but because we are a private institution, that tuition won't change from in-state and out-of-state. But when you apply to the university, you will automatically be considered for merit scholarships um, as well as our Forsheimer's Honors College. If you are admitted to our Honors College, that is an automatic $15,000 scholarship right off the bat. So um, a really great thing to look into. When discussing the different majors that we offer at Pace, I will drop the link um, in the chat so that you guys can kind of click through that. But we do offer um, a lot of BFA programs as well as BA programs. So we have musical theater programs, acting for the stage, but also acting for TV and film, which is really exciting. I don't know a lot of schools that have a BFA specifically in that, um, especially dance programs as well. So like our commercial dance program is a BFA program. They spend a semester in LA. So kind of like somebody was talking about earlier, because the markets are so fantastic, both on the West and East Coast, we wanna make sure that you get a taste of both of those. Um, pretty much all of our programs also have a showcase of some sort. So if you're interested in studio art, we have a BFA in art as well as a BA in art. And we have a great gallery on campus where you can present your work. So right now we have a lot of our students work out in that gallery and it's also just in the middle of the city. So a lot of people in New York are getting to see their work, which is really exciting. Um, we also have uh, an international ensemble program and a directing program. So a lot of different mediums that you can look into as part of that art program as well, depending on what emphasis you're looking into. 
We offer programs like photography, um, more of that studio art. We have um, different labs on campus where you can do like, um, where you can take your photography and get it developed and then present it out in the city. So really, really cool opportunities. That um, ensemble group actually studies abroad in Spain for a semester. So again, I'll give you guys that link so that you guys can click through and read the curriculum of each of the different programs. Um, but a lot of really, really cool things to offer. Just like some other people were talking about earlier, we do have a pre-screen process. So um, the deadline to apply for performing arts at PACE is December 15th, so that academic application. And then you will also have a pre-screen application that's separate from your academic application. So you can apply for as many programs as you want on your pre-screen. So you don't have to just apply for musical theater or commercial dance or acting. You can apply for all of them. You can also potentially be called back for all of them. So you may be scheduling up to six auditions um, and then kind of seeing where it goes from there if you're interested in a lot of different things. We do also have programs um, that kind of cross over with business and art. So um, an arts and entertainment management is a really popular major that people like to have if they kind of want to mix the two. And again, you can double major and also minor in areas outside of your school of study. So um, let's say you wanted to study musical theater, but you also wanted to minor in something in the business school. That is definitely an option and you will have an academic advisor in both of those schools. So you will have somebody guiding you along the way. We have what we call the PACE path. So um, your first semester, you'll take a course called University 101. And this will kind of set you up to plan out your next four years or five years if you want to stay for graduate school or stay a little bit longer. Um, so we kind of use that time to help you see the different organizations, majors, minors, kind of put everything out in front of you so that you can plan those next four years. So a lot of really, really cool opportunities. And um, just while I have a tiny bit of time at the end here, I'm gonna list off some of the fun things that our students are involved in since you don't get to see the slides up in front of you. Um, we currently have the most Rockettes that are active right now, as well as the center Rockettes, they're all from Pace. Um, we have artists in residence, which is cool. So we bring in people from Broadway TV. Um, we currently have Justin Guarini from American Idol as the artist in residence this semester. We have students and alum performing in Dear Evan Hansen, Hamilton, Jagged Little Pill, Carolina Change, The Prom, Law and Order, Bruised on Netflix, and a lot of other projects happening right now. Um, so really great opportunities, especially being right in the middle of Manhattan, 20 minutes away from Pearl Studio and Ripley Greer, where so many of the auditions are happening. Being in the middle of the city just gets you so close to so many opportunities. And we wanna help plug you into those, as well as internships, maybe that aren't performance, but are related to um, working in a box office or working behind the scenes or working with a casting agency. So um, yeah, that's a little bit about Pace and I will drop some links below so that you guys can see a little bit more visual. Wonderful, thank you, Lexi. And thanks for really rolling with that. You painted such a visual, I feel like I could see it. <laughs> so great job. Thanks for the help. <laughs> All right, and then last but not least, we have Wagner College. Hi, good evening. My name is Chrissy Muller. I'm one of the admissions counselors at Wagner College, and I'm just gonna get my screen ready so I can share this with you. Here we go. Of course, it was in the wrong order, sorry. Welcome to Wagner. Wagner is a traditional liberal arts and sciences college located in Staten Island, one of the five boroughs of New York City. With approximately 2,000 students, Wagner offers students the best of both worlds, a traditional residential campus located in New York City. Students from all over the US and the world choose Wagner for the small campus setting, but with access to all the opportunities of New York City. We offer a number of undergraduate programs in the performing and visual arts. Arts administration is the perfect major for students who wanna combine an arts program with a business degree. This unique program prepares students for management positions in arts related organizations. All Wagner students must complete at least one semester long internship, but many arts admin students love that hands-on experience and will complete multiple internships during their four years at Wagner. Internship and job placement sites include MTV, NBC Universal, Christie's Auction House, Madison Square Garden, Sony Music Entertainment, and so many more. Our dance education program is for students looking to teach and direct dance or to own their own dance studio. It's also a springboard for graduate programs in dance education, dance kinesiology, and dance movement therapy. 
Our students have interned at the Brooklyn Academy of Music, the Alvin Ailey da American Dance Theater, and the Mark Morris Dance Group. Our Bachelor of Arts in Theater offers concentrations in performance, design technology and management, theater studies, and theater and childhood education. Our performance program has been recognized by the Princeton Review as a great college theater and has been ranked in their top five theater programs for the past 17 years. We have 36 performance seats available each year and an audition including singing, acting, and dancing is required. Our alumni have performed on Broadway and across the US in productions of Dear Evan Hansen, SpongeBob SquarePants, the Broadway musical, Aladdin, Chicago, Sister Act the Musical, and Spring Awakening. Caitlin McGee, a 2010 alumna, can be seen weekly starring in the ABC comedy Home Economics, very funny. Our design, technology, and management program gives students the opportunity to work in sound, lighting, scenery, and stage management. We do four main stage productions and four to six studio productions each year. So our DTM students are always very busy. Alumni include Anthony Freitas, a 2013 alum and Tony winner for best scenic design for The King and I, and Danielle Buccino, uh, currently an assistant stage manager for Dear Evan Hansen. In addition to our general music major, we also offer a, lot, offer a specialized music major in vocal performance, as well as music education for those who would like to teach. Performing opportunities include the College Choir, which performs regularly at Carnegie Hall, as well as regionally and internationally. We offer tailor-made opera scene programs, as well as a cappella groups. Additionally, for instrumental students, we offer concert and jazz bands, contemporary music ensembles, a marching band, recitals, and many student-run musical theater productions. Facilities include a multi-use performance center, a music lab, music resource room, as well as practice space. Performance scholarships are available for all of the above programs. The visual arts at Wagner includes a major in art, art history, and film and media studies. Wagner is not a traditional art school. Students have the chance to study the visual arts while obtaining a liberal arts education. It's not a BFA. The fine arts program includes study in drawing, painting, sculpture, photography, ceramics, and graphic design. The art history major introduces students to global and local visual traditions. Students work, for, work firsthand and conduct independent research throughout required internships at New York City Premier Museums, galleries, and art collections. Our visual arts students intern with the artstory.org, the Metropolitan Museum of Art in the Art Education Department and the European Paintings Department the Barnes Foundation in Philadelphia in the Historic Departments, Documents Department and the Cathedral of St. John the Divine. Our alumni are art teachers, children book authors, comic book creators, and photographers and visual artists. They travel the world and continue to study art and film. The Film and Media Studies program at Wagner provides students with the opportunity to make their own films, to analyze films, and then to apply these media skills in a variety of contexts including production, post-production and programming, civic engagement and community work. Each spring, we host a student-run film festival for New York City students. In students intern at Meerkat Media Cooperative and the New York Film Festival. They study abroad in Cuba and Ethiopia and London, and they hear from Wagner alum, like Michael Tadros, a leading figure in the film industry for 30 plus years. He's produced movies like Ocean's Eight and The Wolf of Wall Street. All of this is possible because of our location in New York City. The Staten Island Ferry is less than 10 minutes from our campus and provides a free 25 minute ferry ride into Manhattan. It leaves students in lower Manhattan where they can easily walk to three different subway lines, which will take you anywhere in New York City that you wish to go. Our students spend time throughout New York City attending performances, concerts, visiting museums and art galleries. There's always so much to do and see. To be eligible for our theater performance and DTM programs, students will need to apply by December 1st. Additionally, students looking to audition for music performance scholarships are encouraged to apply by December 1st, but no later than February 15th, our regular decision application deadline. Our average admitted student has a 3.5 GPA and we are test optional. We have been for about 10 years now. We encourage you to contact us with any questions and the next time you're in New York City, we hope you'll choose to visit Wagner College.
It's raining here in New York City. We have thunderstorms going on, which means one of my basset hounds barked throughout most of that presentation. I apologize in advance for that. <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy, and certainly understand that uh, dog barking happens <laughs> these days for sure. Lola does not like thunderstorms. I apologize. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you all for all of our schools. And so now I want to invite everyone to come back, come back on camera. And we are going to finish out the next uh, or the last five minutes, I would say, um, with a question I want to pose to everybody. So would love to hear from all of you. What is one thing that you want students to remember about your arts programs? And we'll just start right from the top. So um, if you want to start with Keene University and we'll just go down the list here. Great, thank you, Laura. Oh my goodness. One thing um, I would say that we have our own theater, you know, production company right on campus, uh, Premier Stages. So that's a great opportunity for students, um, you know, within the theater department um, to utilize that since it is right on campus. And also um, how close we are to New York City. We have our train station right on campus. So if you're looking to live in New Jersey, but you want to get your internships in New York City, super easy, hop right on the train. And we also give discounts to students as well. Um, at Ryder, I would say the one thing I'd like you to take away is that we combine the classical, which would be the Westminster Choir College, with the contemporary, which would be the School of Media and Performing Arts, um, for the students interested in the arts, and that during their entire time, no matter which college or school they're in, um, all four years they have performance opportunities. So lots of opportunity on campus to be um, an art student. Um, I would say the biggest thing is your college experience is whatever your college experience is going to be. If you want a double major, you want to have multiple minors, you want to do a study abroad experience. At the end of the day, we're there to make your four years of college the most fantastic experience it's going to be and to make it really as flexible as possible. And then also really working with staff and with faculty to make sure that you can fit all of those things, those internships, those experiences on and off campus in that time frame as well too. And I realized I was going to start talking without being unmuted, but I would say for the <laughs> students in the arts for Binghamton, I think um, we're really about access. There's so many different levels of performance and for um, present, presenting your artwork um, that it really provides students with so many different forms and opportunities. Oh, Lexi, it looks like we cannot hear you, which is odd because I see you are unmuted. No. Nope, I'm so sorry. You've had quite the, the night of the, the technical issues. I apologize. Well, feel free if you want to drop your, um, your one thing that you want students to remember about your arts program in the chat, um, and then I will pass it over to Wagner College. I think we'll sell out the last one to go. For students looking for that small traditional liberal arts college experience, but also want the vibrancy of New York City, be sure to look at, at a place like Wagner. Um, students can double major. Uh, one of my, my favorite theater performance majors was also a, a biology chemistry minor, and then went on to chiropractic school. Wagner's the kind of place where we encourage students to pursue all of their dreams, all of their passions, and that can take them in so many different directions. Love that. What a perfect place to, to kind of end to end out with. So appreciate all of the, the pro tips. Whoops, I am not meaning to share my, uh, my email there. <laughs> um, but, but thank you all for your, your pro tips and information. So um, just to kind of finish us out here, just want to um, thank you all for joining us, both our um, students, parents, and our presenters. So just wanted to let you know as I close this out, it will bring you to a very quick just five question survey. So we would appreciate any feedback that you can provide, of course, as we continue to, um, you know, create programs like this and, and make them the best that they can be for, for you all. And again, just want to encourage you to check back that schedule, sign up for more sessions both tonight as well as our May programming, which again is at that strivescan.com forward slash launch. All right. And again, just one last thank you and, you know, silent muted round of applause for everyone. I hope you all have a fantastic night and um, best of luck in your, your college journey.